Hey everybody, welcome back to Sarkby Farmstead. So Steve and I are running home. It's Sunday, we've been running some family errands. We're on our way back to our house, but I had to bring this video to you guys. So if you have apps on your phone that have asked for permission for your microphone, if you don't need that app to have permission to use your microphone right now, I want you to take a second, go into settings and turn that off. Take away the permission and this is why. There are apps on smartphones, computers, and other devices that track you through ultrasonic sounds that you can't hear. Frequencies that are too high for the human ear to hear. So I want you to understand that. What they're doing is as you're driving down the road or sitting in your home, your phone, the app on your phone is looking for specific tones. As they hear that tone, they are registering a GPS marker where you are located. Yes. So you're driving down the road and the billboard you just passed has an ultrasonic sound it puts out. The microphone on your phone picks up that sound, registers exactly on a GPS map where it heard that sound, and now you are being tracked without the use of a GPS. I know, mind blowing. When I found this out, I was like, smack dab, are you kidding me? So when I found this information out, I just knew I had to bring it to you guys immediately. In 2017, there were already 234 Android apps that had the ability to listen to and listen for ultrasonic tone. So these apps are so sensitive that they are actually listening for specific types of machines in your home. And that tells them what products you like to buy. Wow. They're even listening in on our conversations. And guys, let's be honest, even though they tell us they don't, do we believe them? So I saw a video earlier that was talking about if you have white noise machines in your home, if you have the bug repellent machines that send frequencies out to repel pest in your home, you need to get rid of those. And it's because they are hackable. When I was doing Havana, Havana syndrome and they were talking about the pest devices that emitted um, frequency to deter rodents or um, like cockroaches and insects and that type of thing. And those can be hacked and they can be uh, actually connect with direct energy weapons and send harmful frequencies throughout your home. And as I'm, I'm doing some research, uh, um, white noise, white noise machines, and you are going to be shocked at what those white noise machines can do uh, the harm that they can do. I don't know why I don't know things like that, but you know, at this point, any time that they can use frequency as a weapon, whether it's from the sky as a um, DEW, or it's on the ground to mess with your brain, they're going to. So please know that if you're using a white noise machine in your home to comfort your children at night or to drown out noises so you can sleep, please get rid of those. They are hackable in the sense that they can change the frequency that you're listening to and that can have emotional and psychological problems for people like you and I. I also found some information called SSSS. Enjoy this. No, maybe your subconscious mind does. Let's talk about it. Silent Sound Spread Spectrum, also known as SSSS, S-Quad, or simply Squad, is, according to some, a secret technology used by the United States government, specifically the Department of Defense, that utilizes high-frequency broadcast waves to subliminally influence the American public by influencing their subconscious brains using inaudible messaging. Basically, it's mind control through sound, but super high-pitched sound, so we can't actually hear it but our subconscious internalizes it nonetheless. This kind of mind control can be done pretty much anywhere, at any time. The SSSSs are broadcasted using radio waves, and radio waves are everywhere. Side effects of the silent sound spread spectrum can also include fear, anxiety, despair, and hopelessness. Not so fun. Now moving on to what's actually going on in California right now, you're going to see a lot of misinformation 
And I'm not talking about the type that Gaviner, y'all know I love to say Gavin Newsom and Governor all together. So Gaviner Newsom likes to claim is happening. We're talking real misinformation. Like the fact that Oregon sent a whole bunch of fire trucks to California and they were denied entrance due to emissions. Folks, that is actually misinformation. I'll tell you what happened. They needed to pass a pre-check before they went out on the firefighting line. Now, this is normal. It is actually something that needs to happen. And it's a great way to keep older equipment and vehicles and equipment that's traveled hundreds of miles from breaking down in the middle of a fire. So I have this quick clip for you. Please take a second and watch this so you're not, you know, getting misinformation from people who are like, oh, California is turning away fire trucks for emissions because actually they aren't. For your brake chambers, right now we're reinstalling and then we will set the brakes in the applied stroke and uh, get this truck back up on the road and down south. They're coming from all over uh, Oregon, Washington, Idaho. We've been getting vehicles in and out of here. So thanks right. for coming with Steve and I as we finish up this video. Love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Just know this. We don't always have to agree on opinions, but when it comes to facts, you're going to find them here first. Love Little you guys. fog that blanketed much of the UK, Canada, and even parts of the US. With this fog, there were reports of sickness and residue covering everything it touched. Even Florida was reporting a strange midday fog. On the last night of 2024, lightning struck the Capitol, the Washington Monument, and the One World Trade Center. Maybe symbolic, maybe full of meaning, maybe void of meaning entirely, who knows?